Welcome to the online learning series, Traumatic Stress Screening for Child Welfare Professionals, a guide to the University of Minnesota's Traumatic Stress Screen for Children and Adolescents, the TSSCA. This module is part three in a three-part series that has been developed as a collaboration between the Center for Advanced Studies in Child Welfare, the AMBA Network, and the Institute for Translational Research in Children's Mental Health at the University of Minnesota. These organizations have partnered to plan for and develop training materials for child welfare professionals related to children's mental health. The development of this online learning series and the accompanying research brief further the mission of these organizations by connecting you, child welfare practitioners, to relevant research emerging from the University of Minnesota. Module 1 provided you with a general overview of the tool and the background development and evidence supporting the TSSCA. Module 2 broke down administration of the TSSCA step-by-step -step with video demonstrations. Module 2 also introduced you to several practitioners who would use the screen in their practice. Module 3 will provide next steps for after you've completed the screen with a client. Module 3 will provide you, child welfare professionals in Minnesota, with some possible next steps following administration of the TSSCA. This presentation will focus on the resources available to assist in next steps made available through the AMBIT network. This module has two objectives. First, to link child welfare professionals in Minnesota with resources available for treating and assessing trauma in children and adolescents. And second, to encourage child welfare professionals to share their TSSCA data in order to help track results for future analyses and improvements to the tool. This module contains three sections. While the module has been developed to be watched in order, you can navigate between sections to review. If a child screen suggests that they may be experiencing elevated levels of trauma symptomology, they should receive a referral for a more comprehensive assessment. In some areas of Minnesota, there may be a clear process for referral and assessment. In other areas, you may have a bigger role to play in connecting the child to care. The AMBIT Network is one organization committed to increasing access to high-quality care for traumatized children in Minnesota. Immediately following the screen, it is important to document screening results following the steps outlined by your organization. As discussed in Module 2, it is important to have a follow-up plan in place when administering the TSSCA. Follow your organization's procedures for processing screens and making referrals. Also be sure to document the results of the screen in the child's case plan. As discussed in Module 1, Background and Development of the TSSCA, the AMBIT Network's purpose is to increase access to high-quality, evidence-based care for traumatized children, families, and communities. As a site for the National Childhood Traumatic Stress Networks, NCTSN, the AMBIT Network works through community and university partnerships to increase access to evidence-based practices for traumatized children. One of the ways that the AMBIT Network has increased access to evidence-based care for children in Minnesota is by training mental health professionals around the state in trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy, TFCBT. TFCBT is a highly effective evidence-based program for trauma in children and adolescents. Through these efforts, there are now trained TFCBT providers in most counties in the state. That number continues to grow with each new learning collaborative. More information about TFCBT and TFCBT training can be found in the resource section of this presentation as well as on the AMBIT website. The AMBIT Network's website has many resources available to help locate assessment and services for traumatized youth. This screenshot shows the AMBIT Network's homepage. At the top of the page are two links, Find TFCBT Providers and TFCBT Training Info. The training information is for mental health professionals seeking to become TFCBT certified. Clicking on the Find TFC Providers link will bring you to a TFCBT provider list. The TFCB provider list is color coded by type of service. If you click on one type of service in the legend, a PDF directory of agencies will open organized by county. If you hover over a particular county with your mouse, you will open a TFCBT provider list. These providers and agencies will be able to administer in depth trauma assessments and provide treatment when appropriate. The TFCBT provider list is just one option for connecting children to high quality assessment and treatment. Your county or region may have additional services available. Please be sure to follow the procedures in place within your organization. Section 2, Contributing to Future Research. As discussed in depth in Module 1, 
the TSSCA has been shown to have strong sensitivity and good specificity in identifying children and adolescents experiencing elevated levels of traumatic stress symptomology, looking at a sample of 108 youth seen in community settings. However, there is more work to be done to establish the validity and reliability of this screen. As a child welfare professional in an organization using the TSSCA, sharing de-identified results from the screen will help provide the necessary data for future research. AMBIT has created an Excel spreadsheet for agencies or other organizations to use in order to track the results of the TSSCA and the follow-up that occurred. Each role in this document includes details about the child's demographics, the date the TSSCA was completed, the TSSCA score, and details of what happened after the screening tool is administered. Information about your experience with the TSSCA and the tracking document are valuable for AMBIT's ability to meet the needs of all our partners. As part of this system, AMBIT asks for the tracking documents quarterly and produces a summary of the clients and results from all organizations that submit tracking forms. The tracking document is available by email at tfcbt at umn.edu and on the AMBIT website. You'll find the tracking form on the AMBIT website by clicking the resources link on the left hand menu and then selecting the link for the U of M traumatic stress screen for children and adolescents. This link will bring you to a page with both the TSSCA instrument and the tracking form. The tracking form includes three sections. First is a section for basic demographic information. Here, we're using Christina's screen from the administration demonstration in Module 2. The next section asks about the screen results. After entering an overall score, the result will be automatically calculated. Finally, there is a space for follow-up information. Thank you for participating in the Traumatic Stress Screening for Child Welfare Professionals Module 3, Next Steps. The final section of this presentation provides you with resources for further learning, acknowledgments, and references. For additional information on the subjects covered in this series, please refer to the following resources. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to Chris Bray, or Sophia Frank. Special thanks to the following individuals for their contributions to this learning series. The following resources were used to develop this learning series. Congratulations! You've completed the Traumatic Stress Screening for Child Welfare Professionals Module 3, Next Steps.